Secularism.org is reporting that UK Labour MP Keith Vaz has expressed support for reintroducing blasphemy laws in response to terrorism. They say, quote, his comments were reportedly made at an event organized by the Muslim Council of Britain to explore responses to extremism. Let me give you his exact line, quote, religions are very special to people and therefore I have no objection to a blasphemy law, but it must apply equally to everybody. It should apply to all religions. If we have laws, they should apply to everybody. Now, oftentimes, uh, new atheists have thrown around the term regressive and they've spoken about their regressive left. Now, do I think the term regressive left is overused? I do. I think it's now this catch-all phrase for anybody who disagrees uh, on anything. And if, for example, if you give a shit about the Palestinians or you're vehemently opposed to U.S. imperialism, you're regressive. Immediately, you're regressive. So I think it's overused. I think other terms are overused as well, like Islamophobia, for example. Uh, but here's a case where the person actually is a regressive. Here's a case where uh, somebody is buckling on rights, on a core right, on a civil liberty to, you know, not hurt people's feelings. I mean, come on, they hold their religion, you know, it's special to them. So what are you going to be a big bad meanie and mock their religion? And I mean, shouldn't that be illegal? No, 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 no. You don't want to, you don't want to go down that road. That's a terrible road to go down. Guys, there are some issues that are just simply not debatable. Okay, one of them is uh, freedom of speech. There are others like due process of law, right to privacy and stuff. Unfortunately, the U.S. government has buckled on many of these. Uh, but this is sheer lunacy. You're considering banning mocking religion. That's what you're doing. We're really having this conversation in the year 2015? And think about how much the logic of it fails. So anything else is open to scrutiny. But when it comes to religion, well, that's the one thing where we've drawn a line and said you cannot criticize that. But isn't it funny how they draw the line uh, on the thing where it needs criticism the most? Your deepest held views about the world and what you think is true about the nature of reality and how we got here and stuff like that. You're drawing the line there and saying, no, no, you can't touch these things, you can't discuss these things. Why? That's fundamentally anti-science and anti-logic and anti-rationality. And everybody is offended by something. You know what I'm offended by? I'm offended when people aren't atheists. Should I be able to lock somebody up for saying Allahu Akbar? Should I be able to lock somebody up for saying I believe in Jesus? I've been washed in the blood of the lamb or whatever goofy religious terminology they use? I'm offended by that. I'm a my intelligence, my intellect is offended by that because they believe in shit that is demonstrably untrue. Does that mean that I have a right to then throw them in jail because they said something that I don't like? Well, that's what we're arguing here against people who are secularists and atheists and agnostics, people who are anti-religion. That doesn't mean that you're militant and you take guns and you kill people who are religious. That's a com that's a caricature of what we actually believe. But should we have the freedom to mock religion? Absolutely. My show, I would be shut down like that and I'd be put in jail if, if this was passed. Bill Maher, same thing. For virtually anybody, any leftist who's criticized religion, any libertarian who's criticized religion. You want to bring back blasphemy laws. I hurt your feelings by saying I don't agree with your worldview and you can lock me up. Again, you can't stop there because then we have to say, well, if you insult atheism, I get to lock you up. And then if we're locking people up for hurting people's feelings, fuck that. Where does that end? I, you know, my feelings are genuinely hurt. If I, I'm with a girl and we're making out or something and then we, I want to go the next step and she's like, no. Now, I would never violate that once somebody says, no, it's over. I know I don't go further, but my feelings are hurt. Should I be able to lock somebody up? She didn't blow me. Put her in jail. My feelings are genuinely hurt. I hold this in high regard. I enjoy sex very much. I'm going to lock you up. That's fucking craziness. It's crazy to say because of the content of your speech, because of your opinions, I'm going to put you in a jail cell. That is anti-freedom. That is regressive. Again, the term regressive might be overused, but is it fine to invoke it when you're talking about le legit moral relativism? 
this idea that everything is equal, all cultures are the same, and you can't say uh, on any issue that anyone is right or wrong. I mean, that's also a self-defeating argument if you think about it, because then you can't even argue against conservatives. So if you're a liberal and you're also a moral relativist, you have no basis by which to say conservatives are wrong for being anti-abortion. Well, that's just how they live. What are you going to do? It's just a different way of living. Who am I to judge? They're in a different state. They have a different context, a different culture. It would be bigoted of me to judge them when they're in their state and, you know, living a different way. What? I, my way isn't necessarily better or worse. It just is what it is. This is moral relativism, guys. This is the world where there's no rights and there's no wrongs and there's nothing that's better than anything else. It's just, oh, everything's a matter of opinion. There's no truths. There's no, that's better. This is worse. Well, this is the road that we're going down. This is regressive left. When, when you buckle on one of the non-negotiables, then you indeed are being regressive. No, rights are rights. The whole point of them is that they're concrete, is that they're off the table. And this works both ways. So this means I cannot lock up a, a Muslim dude or a Christian dude when they're saying shit that's ridiculous on a soapbox to the world and they're gaining followers. You know, there are a lot of fundamentalist Muslim preachers who are far more popular than I am and than secular talk is. Do I have a right to shut that person down because I disagree with the content of what they're saying? Fuck no. I don't have the right to shut down a KKK guy or a neo-Nazi guy or, you know, some Marxist guy who I would disagree with vehemently. I don't have the right to do that because that's, that's not freedom. F freedom doesn't mean, uh, you don't get your feelings hurt from time to time. It means that when that happens, you understand that that person has their rights and they get to say it. Now, you're allowed to respond, and you're allowed to disagree, and you're allowed to yell. But the second you say, I'm going to make it illegal. Well, no, then you're the bad guy. Then you're the problem. And also, your idea of beating the terrorists is just to give in to them. Well, they want they want to implement Sharia law, and, you know, they're, they're crusading for that. And your counter-extremism policy is just give them exactly what they want. What do you mean? Just just say that you can't criticize Muhammad anymore and you can't criticize religions anymore. Just give them what they want and then everything will be okay. Really? You think that's going to work? You think these people are, you know, capable of being appeased? Hmm, I believe a guy named Neville Chamberlain tried that with, with the Nazis. How'd that work out? Just give them the Sudetenland. They're just asking for the Sudetenland. Are they, are they going to go further than that? No, we're being, we're being reasonable here. Just give them the blasphemy law. That's all they're asking for. I mean, what? Do you think they're going to go further? They're not going to go further. No, we're being reasonable. They'll be reasonable. Well, why not? You know, what's the next move? Change it from the United Kingdom to the United Caliphate. What? Just not the UC, UK anymore. Just make it the UC. Hey, I mean, look, we believe that if somebody robs something, depending on how, uh, how much the thing costs or whatever, maybe you put them in jail for a year or six months. But, you know, they say if somebody steals something, just cut off their hand. What? It's not better or worse. It's just their way of living. I mean, who's to say what's right and wrong? Allow them to do that. No big deal. It is what it is. Let's move along. I mean, you don't want to be bigoted, right? You don't want to be a, a bigoted against a, an ideology like that, right? This is the kind of madness we're talking about here. It, it is not going to stop at, oh, just ban, you know, mocking of religion or just ban blasphemy. It would never stop there. Of course it would keep going. And if you give an inch, they're going to take a, a mile and a half because they're not, they're not open to compromise. They're telling you they are fundamentalist, literalist religious people. They are Islamists or jihadists. Your idea of countering them is to say, just give them stuff. No, the non-negotiables are just that, non-negotiable. There's a reason they're called rights and not privileges. A right means it's off the table. That's it. Conversation over. Conversation over. You don't just get to say, whoop, it's inconvenient, now take it away because we're offending people by abiding by it. I don't give a fuck if you're offended. I do not give a fuck if you're offended. I get to criticize you, I get to say your beliefs are dumb, and you can say it about me. That's perfectly fine. Neither of us can put each other in a jail, and that's the bottom line here is, this is actually, they're fundamentally insecure in their belief. They have to be. Because I don't even... I don't want to lock up anybody who disagrees with me. Because I think I could beat you if we're standing toe-to-toe -to -toe and we're having a battle of ideas. In fact, I know I could beat you on that. You, on the other hand, I mean, when you believe ridiculous shit, like there's bright yellow cows and people live to over the age of 900, and somebody's hand should get chopped off when they steal something, you can't defend that in the realm of ideas because it's fucking stupid. So what do you want to say? Oh, if you, if you insult my religion, I'm going to have to lock you up. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. 
you're wrong and it's obvious. And when liberals give in to this, what you're doing is you're saying, I'm so tolerant that I'm going to tolerate your intolerance and I'm going to let your intolerance run rampant throughout the country until we're a totally intolerant country. This is a Trojan horse. I'm so tolerant that I'll tolerate your intolerance. No. Tolerant people need to be tolerant of everything except intolerance because that's a contradiction and if you let them win, they're going to win across the board.